Hello everyone, welcome to the Trappist One system with stock parts in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. It's been a while since I did a stock playthrough, basically since the Force Science update in KSP2, and now we're back to KSP1, obviously. Uh, well, it's been my policy to do something stock or maybe JNSQ alongside my realism overhaul stuff. So we are going to be starting off something with not the stock system, but with the stock parts. Instead of the stock system, well, they'll still be Kerbin, Eve, Duna, all of those. They've just been resized. As I described in previous videos on the Trappist-1 system, I've just made a little patch for Copernicus to resize the stock planets so that they match those of the Trappist-1 system, which is mostly Earth-sized. Um, but our home planet is actually a little bit uh, smaller, so it's a little bit easier. And it's actually got less gravity than Earth, so unlike Kerbin, Kerbin actually has the same surface gravity as Earth. So it's going to be an interesting exploration of this system. It's going to be different. And I'm going to try it with stock parts. And not only that, I am going to do it in career mode first, though if that completely fails, as it probably will, uh, I'll just run out of money or something. Something something bad will happen. I'll go ahead and try to explore the worlds with Sandbox and we'll have really big rockets because we probably need them. And yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Now, as far as the mods I have in here, uh, I've obviously got visual mods. So uh, it's the stock parts. So there's no part mod in here. Uh, but other than that, there's volumetric clouds from Black Rack, so that's got its own configuration scatterer, uh, environmental visual enhancements, and I've also got distant object enhancer, and uh, I've also got textures unlimited. I've got chatterer just for fun, hull camera, VDS for fun, and Kerbal constructs for vis more visual stuff, and though I don't have anything for that just yet, uh, so no buildings or anything in here yet, but. So basically visual mods, then Copernicus and the Trappist-1 system, which is just a patch on Copernicus. I'll link the Trappist-1 patch in the video descriptions. I've made some adjustments to it since the previous video so that the planets are a little bit more legit. We don't, ha or not the planets, the moons, because you know, we don't have the location of the moon, or uh, we don't think there are any moons of the Trappist-1 system, but we will have moons here. Uh, so I had to figure out good locations for them using Principia and also Universe Sandbox 2, as I showed in a previous video. But I have removed Principia from here. So it's got to be stock just with realistic planets. In fact, a real system for the Kerbals. They will have a real home in our universe, basically, is the idea. So with all that, starting a new career, I'm just going to call it career. And we'll just go with the Kerbal default flag. Let's do that. Okay, and we're going to be very default. I'm going to start with hard here, and let's say... I mean, maybe I shouldn't do hard considering the planets, but we'll take a look. Uh, we'll see. I don't even know if the heat shields are going to be able to deal with this kind of re-entry heating. Oh boy. Um... Require I, I won't do calm that. I'll do whatever is in hard. How about that? We'll just we'll just do it like this. Okay. And so it's straight up hard, nothing I mean it's gotta be really hard. I, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't even know how much delta V it takes to get to the moon in this system right now. So here we are. And uh well, let's see. Well we know how this is. Gather, gather scientific data from Kerbin. Okay, and launch our first vessel. Let's do that. Okay, so, yep, um, <laughs> there's the command pod, and here's a flea, and where's my parachute, here's my parachute, okay, uh, so I said no part mods, but there's the hull cam VDS, but they're not functional part mods, they're just for cameras, okay, so forgive me for that, um, other than that, I don't think there's anything weird happening. Okay, well, yeah, uh, you know how this goes. I don't, I don't have any like mech jib or anything like that. I see a thrust to weight ratio like that. Um, delta V. Let's okay. We have that sea level vacuum is like that. Okay, so why don't we just limit the SRB a bit? Yeah, starting at a thrust to weight ratio of three will be fine. So, alpha. <laughs> 
I haven't changed the atmospheres at all. I just resized the plant. So otherwise, this one, the atmosphere ends at 70 kilometers. Okie dokie. Why do I have my propellant there? Well, who cares? Let's let's do some science, actually. I'll probably be needing science. Transmit. We can't transmit. Okay. Maybe I should do the crew. Well, it's fine. Let's go. Oh, maybe I should put real plumes or or waterfall or anything. <laughs> um, no, there's the volumetric clouds. Looking good. Uh, the sun is a little bit weird because I tried to change the color of it uh, because the sun in the Trappist system is more of a reddish. And so you can see sort of more reddish glow, but I don't know. The effect. Uh, with that corona is weird. I don't know what to do about that. You can see a r sort of reddish tint on them too. Okay, well, also we have sort of an island thing going. I'll consider using Kerbal Constructs to make a bridge and such. Maybe even facilities on this island. I'll make the island prettier, I think. And then, if you guys want, I'll bundle that with the with the Trappist-1 zip. Right now the Trappist-1 zip is just a 2 kilobyte thing. It's just one configuration file. Okay, please get enough drag so I can deploy the parachute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to deploy the suit. Now, you might have noticed that this seemed to get more thrust weight ratio and get to a greater height than you thought it might be able to. And remember, that's because this home planet actually has a different gravity than Kerbin. Uh, it has less gravity, though it's huge. <laughs> in, phys in physical size, it's much bigger than Kerbin. Let's go to tracking station and see. So we got some science here. And we should have fulfilled those two. So we have no active, and now we've got a whole bunch of other stuff. But let's take a look at the system now. Okay, so this is Kerbin, and Kerbin information says we have one atmosphere pressure. Actually, to sea level gravity, it says 0.82 Gs. I thought it was less than that, but anyway, 0.82 Gs, uh, fairly reasonable. Duna, Duna's got less gravity, so that's nice, 0.62, but still much more than stock Duna. Escape velocity is very high, and then Eve, Eve's got one G. And then it's got its thick atmosphere. The atmosphere hasn't changed. I didn't change any of that. Um, and so it, it's you'll be coming in really hot at Eve. And that's going to be a problem with our heat shields, probably. And 1.1 Gs at Moho. So that's going to be... Just don't visit Moho. Now, notice that Kerbin is actually the fourth planet because that's the most habitable planet in the Trappist-1 system. And somebody convinced me that we should just go with that. And then Drez is 0.95 Gs and, you know, sort of Earth size as well. Uh, the, uh, if you want to sort of uh, estimate for Earth size, the mass would be 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So that's about the same, same mass as Earth. This is a little bit less than Earth. And this is, Aduna is a lot less than Earth. That's why the surface gravity is so uh, little. This is more than Earth. This is much more than Earth. And then Joule is actually not as big as Moho. <laughs> it's an it's, uh, odd reversal. Uh, it's got whatever atmosphere it had, so that's there. But it's, yeah. It's not. It's looking exactly the same. Everything's looking exactly the same. We don't have Bopper Paul. We do have Leif, Val, and Tylo. And I've set them like this. I had Tylo further out, but it kept getting flung out in Principia, so I pulled it back in again. I don't think uh, something the size of Bopper Paul would survive in that system, so. We only have three moons of Jewel. And then we have Elu. And Elu is actually fairly small. It's like one third the mass of Earth and has about half the gravity. So that's not too bad. So that's our system now. Well, we have some science. Let's do the usual. Let's get basic rocketry and engineering. Okay, let's get more science. Well, first, I don't know about observational surveys. I'm not that interested. Let's see about, well, testing the booster would be nice, but 
it gives one science, but let's just go with escaping the atmosphere. Orbit, I don't even know how much it takes to get into orbit because there's multiple variables. There's the lower surface gravity and then the sheer size of the thing. I have not calculated that. In flight over a Kerbin. The only problem with this is the speed. We'll probably need a decoupler to stage off, but uh, we should be under 250, I think. I think we can do this parachute test. Alright, so we've got that. Got liquid fuel tanks. And we'll have the swivel, and we might as well unlock the hammer. Uh, don't bother suggesting restock. I'm making this as stock stock as possible as far as the parts are concerned. Everybody should like recognize the parts and be happy that they're there. Um, so, we've got 2,500 now. Thrust weight ratio is a bit high. I'll give it a little bit more. I can shut it down early. Let's say 3,000. 3,000 exactly. Good times. And we'll put some fins. Just static fins so that I don't have to worry about flips or anything. Well, in theory. I mean, it's got a lot of pod torque. Okay, beta. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything fancy as far as naming is concerned. Okay, so we're just trying to get higher up, and then we might as well have a thermometer at least. And we don't have action groups yet. Okay. Go. Did they rotate? I, I think they rotate people, right? No, it's still Jeb. Alright, fine. I want to get through this. Let's go. SAS on, throttle is up. We have 2,900. Oh, the thermometer probably reduced. Um... Do I do thermometer? I will wait till later to do the thermometer here. Yes, we still have the monopropellant. It's a running gag. But it'll be fine. Uh, if I'd be surprised if we don't get to atmos uh, out of the atmosphere this time anyway. So... Go. Straight up and straight down. Nothing fancy. Just 70 kilometers. So I'll just refer to this as Trappist Turbine. Maybe it should be Turbine. <laughs> That's a little bit weird, but... Uh, it didn't take that much Delta V to get out of the atmosphere, did it? Uh, let's get some margin so that we... You know, can certainly defeat the drag. But yeah, basically 1000 meters per second was all that was necessary. I need to do something about the sun. I don't know what you guys think about that. Maybe somebody can help me with that. I guess, yeah, we could just have T in front of everything, so it'd be like Toho, Teev, uh, Tuna, Tuna is funny, uh, Tuna Turbine, uh, Moon MMS, but we won't change the names of, well, we should, probably should. Then it'd be Tun and Tinmus, and then Trez, or Trey, uh, depending on your accent, uh, Tool, uh, Taith, hmm. Tal. We we got past the atmosphere there. Tylo's just Tylo. And then Tillo. Tellu. Tellu. Maybe I should just say Trappist. <laughs> okay, so we're up here. Let me let me try and toss it to the sun. Oh no, but of time warp. Uh eject the stage off to the side. It's really heavy. Okay. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, calm down, calm down. We don't have a heat shield, but the atmosphere is still the same, and on this kind of trajectory, it's usually okay. Here goes the stage bombing the Space Center. No, it's off to the side. Okay, we're slowing down. We need 250 to test the parachute. Okay. Deploy shoot. Why didn't they accept that? 
No, I didn't even get a crew port. Let's just keep. Uh, okay. Well, let me get a thermometer reading here. I didn't do all the thermometer and science stuff that I should have. Let's get the EVA report here. Don't worry if I'm not getting all the science. Uh, I'll get the science when I absolutely need to, I guess. Probably I'll have occasion to absolutely need to. I've got 10 signs there. Nearly 20 up there. And survivability would be good for coming back from orbit. I think that's our next thing. Got money. Orbit Kerbin. Fine. Okay, can we do this safely? Oh, suddenly music. I can only turn off the music. I really... maybe I should keep that on. Okay. So, I don't know how much Delta V it takes to get to orbit. <laughs> um, again, there's too many variables. I'm just gonna make a two-stager. With swivels on both, but with the upper one thrall down. Right now, we're still limited to 18 tons on the pad. Well, we need some margin to actually get off the ground. Nearly 30 parts, too. Okay, so that's sea level. Thrust weight ratio. This one, we don't need that much. Let's just limit it to 64%, let's say. Something like that. Okay. We also don't want to strand the Kerbal in orbit. Now, vacuum-wise, this is 4,265. Which is, like, only a little bit more than what's necessary for Kerbin itself. R you know, regular stock Kerbin. This isn't even J and SQ orbital levels. And I haven't put the heat shield. Okay, now we have a heat shield. That on there. I'll dump the mod propellant. <laughs> okay, so... Vacuum, just 4,000. So this is like Kerbin levels of Delta V. So I don't think it's gonna be enough. But we've got a lot of science that we haven't done. So let's see where this gets us. Vacuum wise, we've got 4,000. So this is like Kerbin, Kerbin. But then again, getting to space was just 1,000. So, you know. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. Oh, I forgot the fins. Hmm. Okay. Looking good so far. He said as we're going through a transonic region, which is where all the floppies occur. We are past the speed of sound. Okay. Switching to looking at the apoapsis. I'm not anticipating any more floppiness. Wiggliness, yes. Floppiness, no. Okay, staging. Staging. Got some heat effects here. Let's get the barometer reading up here. And maybe a thermometer here, too. We can't EVA Jeb yet. Did I even keep the engine running? I don't know. What's orbital velocity around here? I have no idea. This is gonna be rough for Jeb coming down. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Let's knock off the stage. Okay, and maybe a crew report up here. We might need comm devices. Probably we don't need all the ablator. But we're not getting anywhere close to orbit. Okay, Jeb, this is the ride you've been looking for. <laughs> you know you want those G-forces. G 
Jeb eats cheese for lunch. So what I'm thinking is we need to upgrade our pad and make sure we can build with more parts as soon as possible. Getting the terrier would be a good idea too. Okay, oh, I'm too late. No, deploy. Yeah, I'm too late for that one. Someday we'll test the parachute <laughs> according to their parameters, somehow. Okay, don't sink. Alright. Alright, well that was 14.6 science earned there. I can't believe Jeb didn't gain any experience at all. Well, I can, but I mean, you know, still would have liked to. Alright, well, the Reliant isn't the greatest thing, but we can cut down a part count by having the fuel tank, and of course we want the Terrier up here, so let's get this. General Rocketry. Alright, we have 159,000. The launch pad itself is going to take 100,000. And then if we want more than 30 parts, we'll need 450,000, so that's not great. And they're not making it easy for me to test the parachute. <laughs> We've got one year for that, but we've only got two contracts. We have to get to orbit. Uh, maybe I should just hang out around... Uh, how much science do we need for... Uh, 45 science. So maybe we should just do science around here. Do we still... Can we still do that? I forget. Uh, maybe I should build like a vehicle. Or just have Jeb walk around. I think... I think we'll go for a desperation play and just uh, get Jeb to walk around a little bit. But... I don't know. First of all, cutting down on part count would be nice. We don't have real decouplers yet. So that's a rub. And then we also probably have a height limit, which we're coming close to, so we need radial decouplers. Thumper is interesting. <laughs> um, I, ca I can imagine some crazy configurations, but my thing is normally to make it as not dangerous for them as possible. Uh, honestly, I know it doesn't always seem that way, but yeah. Let's get some more science. Let's figure out how to get some more science here. Alright. Well, barometer reading. It'd be better if I could transmit, though. Report. Well, I can't do that there, but EVA? EVA report. Okay, keep. Board crew report. That we can't do. Okay, so let me just recover this. Maybe I can get a transmitter of some kind. Communitron! Probably I don't need it now, even. We're just gonna get Jeb to walk around. No, let's get Val... Well, no, let's get our scientist to walk around. Let's get Bob to walk around. Okay, Bob. Do one of those tours. You know, the ones that get uploaded to YouTube, those kinds. <laughs> A tour of our facilities here at the KSC. There's actually a mismatch <laughs> in the crawl away versus the. Maybe that's just because I've got. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Keep. Um, I I don't think we can keep more than one EVA report, right? Okay, come on. Maybe I have to go back to the pod. I forget how that works. I need a vehicle. We'll make a little rover. I think. Do we, do, do we have wheels? <laughs> I mean, I, I forget. I, I've never made a land vehicle with this level of technology. I don't think. I'm usually in no rush. But yeah, um, the collider for this area is definitely higher up. It's definitely the height of the crawler way. But this section seems to be a little bit lower than the crawler way for some reason. I don't know if that's a stock thing or whether it's because I scaled things up for the Trappist system. I mean, and also the pod seems to be dug in a little bit. Which is, oh, here the glider's like that. Well, down there we can see stuff. Okay, so. It's all confusing. Alright, let me see about a vehicle. Got 10 so far. Oh, we've only got that pod. 
round. Oh, uh, we only got micro lining struts. We don't have wheels or anything like that. Well, temporarily we'll pass on that idea. Let's just try and get more signs from flight. So this time we'll have a transmitter on. And maybe we shouldn't have the commutron that extends because it'll break. So we'll just have this one. Uh oh. Too many parts. Okay, well we're not getting into orbit with this anyway. Well actually we can replace the tanks. We can also do the goo later. If you're wondering about the staging, since we have two equivalent engines, one way to think of the optimal is that you should get the same amount of delta V from the two stages if they have the same ISP. The amount of delta V you want from each stage is proportional to the ISP that you're getting from that stage. So if we had the terrier up there, we would want more delta V from the second stage. And we would normally measure with the vacuum ISP. So we're still within limits, though the thrust weight ratio is getting a little bit iffy down there. Um, 1.25 sea level, sea level, vacuum. You can see I'm I'm making it so that we get about the same sort of delta V from both stages. Uh, so yep, that is one idea. Though the optimal optimal would be getting a delta V that is equivalent to 10 times, or actually 9.81 times, but let's just say 10 times the engine ISP. So we really want 3,200 from each stage, not what we're getting right now. But we are limited because of our pad mass and the fact that these are vacuum engines. So if we were using the Reliance, they would be more sea level optimized and we could get closer to the optimal. So, oh, so the tanks are really heavy. Let's, let's have Val. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but did did Bob actually Bob actually got just as much Bob hasn't flown at all but Bob got just as much experience as Jeb did <laughs> and Jeb's gone to space there's something wrong about that let me put fins on just for my comfort level I don't think we need full ablator on this heat shield let's stump that okay gamma 2 Okay, well, while we're running the engine, we don't have to worry. It'll replenish the electric charge. Okay, go. Well, uh, let's get some science right now. Transmit. Not enough electric charge still. It's not recharging quickly enough. Okay, that we can do. Okay. Okay, chatterer. Okay, chatterer. We passed the speed of sound. This is not an optimal trajectory, but we know we're not getting to orbit anyway. We'll just keep the reading for the barometer that we weren't able to transmit anyway. We'll get a little bit extra for that. Just keeping it. Okay, staging. Staging. Should be in upper atmosphere by now. Uh, we won't do that one. Could we? Oh, we've already done it here. Crew report? We did not do. Let's transmit that. Alright. Maybe I should just cut it for now. Yeah, um, she can't EVA right now. So we can't do that. But we can do this. Let's transmit that one. Okay, we should probably replenish charge. That's the only reason I'm running the engine at all. In fact, just for a recovery value, maybe I'll retro here. Alright, separation. Ooh, well, lots of torque to control the rocket, but overdoing it for the pod. Okay, so Valentine is coming back down. Did get to a greater apoapsis, I think, than Jeb had. Oh, a little bit fuzzy. What? What's all this fuzziness? Did you see that? 
Uh, I mean, that's because of the water. No, I mean those are clouds over the water, right? My right, time warp. They're like this. Why? Eve, you've got settings here. Remarched. Maybe I should go two X and see if that's better. All right, time warp. Okay, well that's a little bit more stable, but we're not directly over it. Okay, let's say us off. And do the parachute thing. So I'm guessing maybe I, I should just stage it. More G's. All the G's. I forget whether hard mode gives you G force limits for the Kerbals. Doesn't look like it. Okay, speed's okay. I'm gonna just press spacebar. Okay, it's happy with that. So that was it. Because I was uh, deploying the parachute by the right click menu. Okay, we used about 14 units of ablator on that, but that wasn't orbit, so we should probably just keep the ablator as is. Uh, I don't think there's a special temperature. Oh, there's flying over Kerbin's waters. Okay, uh, we'll just keep that for now. Uh, maybe there's a different crew report? Yes, there is. Keep. No, I'm not going to get a little thing that tells me when to do science. <laughs> okay, recover vessel. Alright, 10 more science. So we need about 14 more science in order to get the terrier. Well, we could get another test. Which one will... This thumper on a suborbital trajectory over Kerbin gives us... Uh, but the altitude has to be 250 to 260 kilometers. Activate the part during staging sequence when all the conditions are met. It does not say that it has to be fully fueled. So that's important. Four science there for that. This is five though. Test a decoupler on an escape trajectory out of Kerbin. The problem is we don't have a probe controller. So... That's... I mean, the first one is the state putnik. We don't even have batteries yet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't even like the state putnik. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I think maybe... I mean, those are tempting. Can I do that one? With a Kerbal, I mean? That seems dangerous. And the escape trajectories are, like, right out right now. The drogue shoot, it's only two though. We need to land the Kerbals at a different location. In different biomes. Maybe I should get the, use the landing legs and like have a hopper. Well, I think, let's see what we can do with the goo. No, we'll send Bill. Just because Bill hasn't gotten any experience yet. But maybe we'll be just getting pad science first, let's see. Okay, observe mystery goo. Well, we'll have a baseline. Keep experiment. Let's just get in flight first. Well, yes, there's no SAS module of Bill. You know, uh, Bill, uh, Bill probably already just got some science, uh, some uh, experience. Let's just recover this. Okay, 1.8 for that. Bill got no XP gain. Okay, so Bill actually has to go up a bit. <laughs> or at least get out of the vehicle. Let's, let's uh, give Bill a less powerful rocket then. So that Bill doesn't get into too much trouble. We probably don't need the heat shield, but we'll put it on anyway. Okay, so this will be Bill 1. <laughs> uh, just to get Bill some experience here. With some goo. Okay, throttle up. SAS not available. We're just going straight up. I'll try and keep it steady. And go. Well, let's see. Goo. Well, 4.2 is pretty good. We'll wait till upper atmosphere. 
I'll let it deviate a little bit. I'll just let it go of prograde right now. Okay, don't need Bill going too far here. Reserve Mystery Goo. Alright. 5.4, that might about do it. No need for that. Oh, I should have pointed him further over there. Okay, that's the end of that stage. Wait until space to dump it. Okay, 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 uh, okay. Not having SAS is a bit of a problem. <laughs> we'll have to rely on the atmosphere to help us a bit. I can do time warp. There's some weird effect going on during time warp only. Sort of, it's just sort of a glassy thing. Now, uh, volumetric clouds did not expect me to scale everything up to Trappist-1 standards, so in its defense, this is not how the stock volumetric clouds were supposed to work. <laughs> I've just got stock vol volumetric clouds, right? So it's a minor miracle they're working at all, to be honest. Okay, atmosphere. Get there. Oop. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have turned it at all. Now we can't time warp to stop it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try my best keep it there. The most important thing, we just don't want to go pointy end first. Don't go pointy end first. <laughs> Come on, atmosphere, help. Help out. Okay, atmosphere's got it. Okay, maybe there's a crew report flying over here. Yeah, 2.1. We could transmit that. Let me pop the parachute first. Transmit. Oh, that's a lot of power though. Okay, so we have landed. Let's get another crew report. Keep that one. And EV report here on the grasslands. Okay, keep board. And recover. Alright, well we've got just enough signs to unlock the terrier. So, yep, 12 signs earned. Uh, Bill got 1 XP. Everybody's got 1 XP now. Advanced Rocketry, Terrier, Research. Alright, so next time we're gonna see whether we can get closer to orbit. I don't know if we can get to orbit without getting an uh, upgrade to the launch pad. We'll see first. And maybe there'll be some other contracts that might be interesting in order to just get some more funds because we'll certainly need it. Our rockets gotta be more expensive than the stock system expected, so there's that. So, anyway, hard career mode with the Trappist-1 system. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.